mama's tearing me apart How much can it take this tiny little heart? Don't let anybody tear this world apart Join in my crusade and fight beside this tiny little heart Don't you take for granted everything you've got Listen to the beating of my little heart Tiny little heart, tiny little heart Join in my crusade with my tiny little heart Lights, please, Twinkle. Thanks. Hello again, and welcome to our library. All these books here are full of magic and wonder. And as you can see, they're a source of fascination for the kids, too. Oh, I want to choose one this time. Can I, Grandpa? Only if I don't find something better first, Anna. But you chose the last one. You see, these books don't just sit on a shelf gathering dust. We read them and teach our children to so they learn the old gnome ways. Grandma, Lisa, I want that blue book up on the top shelf. You be careful up there now, Harry. A regular part of our everyday gnome life is the reading and retelling of ancient stories to our children and grandchildren. I found one! I found one! Look, Harry, it's all about different kinds of fish. Read this one first, Grandpa, please. No, this one's all about pirates. That's much more fun than a bunch of old fish. Well, in my journal here, I have a story that's all about fish, pirates, and a treasure. <laughs> a treasure? My story begins 300 years ago on a beautiful galleon that was packed with treasure. I mean, stacks of gold bars and barrels full of emeralds. Oh, wow! Some weary explorers were returning home after many months at sea. They were taking the riches that they had managed to acquire back to their king and queen. Now, Bilbo the gnome, who was about your age, lived with his parents, Greta and George, right next to the beach. Mother, father, look! Just look out there, what a beautiful ship! Oh, no! I think that beautiful ship may be in trouble! She be heavy in the water with treasure, and she can't outrun my ship. That treasure is mine! What be your orders, Captain Rick, sir? Splice the main brace, Mr. Treach, if you please, and fire a shot over those lily-livered landlubbers' bows and see if that don't stop them. Aye, aye, Captain. A shot over her bows. Yes, sir. Suffering, see dogs! Why should fire a warning shot, not sink her? Blast your barnacles, man! Well, you did want me to stop her, Captain. You said it in Davy Jones' locker, so how are we supposed to get the treasure up from the bottom of the sea, Grr. Well, maybe we can swim, Dave, for the treasure, Captain. What? But none of us knows how to swim, do we, shrimp brain? That was terrible. I hope everyone's okay. Help! 
If you want something done around here, you have to do it yourself. He said stop it, so I stopped it. Mother, father, quick, pirates! There are pirates coming ashore! Pirates! The hole be ready for you, Captain Grit, sir. Only this map will be able to pinpoint the exact whereabouts of that sunken treasure. And only I'll be able to find the map that leads to it. <laughs> That's it. Here you be, Mr. Cheech. Bury it carefully, if you please. Aye, aye, Captain. So when are we going to come back and get the treasure, sir? That's easy, Treach. As soon as we learns to swim. Did Bilbo get it? Did he find the treasure, Grandpa, or did the pirates come back? It's a good thing gnomes don't need any treasure. Mother Nature provides us with all the treasure we need. Yes, that's right. But the pirate captain did return for the sunken treasure. His hunger for gold and jewels took him yeah. back through a terrible hurricane. Yeah. 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 Good thing he learned how to swim, Grandpa. <laughs> Must reach joy land. Yes, but ironically, the same hurricane would make it impossible for him to find the map. In fact, Captain Grit was destined to wander those beaches until he was very old. He never found his map, nor indeed any treasure. Oh, poor Captain Grit. Go on, Grandpa! Tell us what happened next! Well, being a beach gnome, Bilbo spent much of his time underwater, using a gnome-developed eco-biospheric breathing apparatus. Hello there, Spotty! Hi, Clammy, how are you today? Oh, nice smile you got there, Mr. Mort. He was friends with all the creatures that lived on the coral reef. From crabs and eels, through moon rats and turtles, to the larger creatures of the seas, such as the great manta ray. The galleon and its treasure slept quietly on the floor of the coral reef for a long time. In fact, over the next few hundred years, the galleon became part of the coral reef itself, and Bilbo, who had grown up to be a fine adult gnome, devoted his life to trying to keep the coral reef safe. Did Bilbo really ride on sharks? Oh, yes. Sharky the reef shark was Bilbo's best friend. They swam together every day until the treasure hunters came to cause trouble. No! Look! They caught us, Sharky, and once more they're destroying these corals. We can't let them get away with that! We can sell to the sea aquarium. And this coral. There's a virtual treasure chest of coral down there. It's fantastic. It'll do for now, but I'm looking for real treasure. Gold, jewels, a king's ransom, and sunken treasure. But, as Bilbo was soon to learn, this was only the beginning of the problem. <laughs> treasure hunters! If they find that treasure chest, then they might find the ship, and the whole of the coral reef could be in danger. I've got to stop them! Hey, hey! 
We found it, Mandy. It's our very own buried treasure. Hurry up, Matt, and let's get it out. No, I don't believe it after nearly 300 years of peace and harmony. Ooh. Oh, it's just a lousy old bottle. Oh. You're right, it's just a lousy old bottle complete with a 300-year-old map to a sunken galleon that was full of treasure. Yeah! Let's go find it! Let's go find the treasure! We got a lot of work to do. We gotta get a salvage boat, scuba gear, supplies, all kinds of stuff. I should have dug that map up centuries ago and destroyed it there and then. What am I gonna do now? I don't know. Oh. Petey, I need a flight to Trondheim, Norway. I gotta go see the World Council of Gnomes. Our coral reef is in danger of being destroyed forever, and I gotta get some help. Can you help me out? Now, as you know, whenever one of nature's wonders is in danger of being destroyed, you can be sure the trolls will show up to make things even worse. I feel like a foggy! Ah, well, trollies, there doesn't seem to be much here, so let's trash it anyway. What do you say, brute? Well, we may as well destroy it now that we're here. I could rip it apart and stink. It could stink the whole place out. And pollute it so it smells just the way I like it. Ah, nectar. And when all the animals come running, we'll be ready to scare them out of their fat, stupid skin. So much choice. What will we do first? The first thing any good troll needs is a plan of attack. So we got to put our heads together and work this out. <laughs> So hard. <laughs> wow! You told us that all creatures are good, Grandpa, even spiders, lizards, and bats, so why would they be with those mean old trolls? Because they don't have to hunt for their own food, Anna, those filthy trolls always have insects around them for their pets to eat. What did Bilbo do about the coral reef? When Bilbo reported the immediate danger to the coral reef, the Gnome Council in Trondheim called for me at once to see what I could do to help. <laughs> That's hey. Right. <laughs> hey, Grandpa, tell us what happened next. Well, I departed for Trondheim as soon as I received word from Milius, and when I arrived, the council were in session and waiting for me. Hear ye, hear ye, all rise for the entrance of their majesties, the king and queen of the gnomes. <clears throat> oh, boy, oh, boy, the king and queen are coming. Great, the king must be sending him on another environmental mission. Calm down, Tom T. Can I go with Uncle David, please, Father? Well, that's up to him, isn't it? Though I think we can persuade him. Sit down, please, my good friends, and welcome. It has come to our attention that a 10,000-year-old coral reef is in imminent danger of destruction. Is this the white death that we have heard of? Ah. Uh. No, your majesties. This reef is threatened by treasure-hunting humans and by tourists. Milius, address the council and tell us the importance of these coral reefs. David and Bilbo may add their comments if they wish to. Yes, your majesty. As you can see from this map, only 7% of the entire seabed is coral reef, yet more than 25% of marine life make their home there, as do over a third of all fish. Reefs prevent erosion by absorbing a wave's energy before it hits the shore. And many important medicines come from marine life that lives on coral reefs. There are many environmental emergencies awaiting, David. So how do you vote on the coral reefs? Save the reef! 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 Save the reef. Leave at once and save the coral reef, David. Gnome spirits go with you. Thank you, sire. Yes, thank you, your majesties. Well, Tanti, are you coming or not? Boy, you better believe it. I wouldn't miss this trip to the world. Don't run, Tom T. No! <laughs> Come.
Come on, you two, we've got a reef to save. So Petey the Pelican flew us all to the coral reef at top speed. Thanks for equipping us with all these eco-diving units, Bilbo. I didn't have time to make any gnomic underwater breathing potion. There they are! Those are the treasure hunters who found the map of the sunken galleon. What are we gonna do, Uncle David? You and Tante get some of your underwater friends together, Bilbo. If we want to see what they're up to, a little spying will give us an edge. Dive, Petey! Skim the water! When you're ready, just whistle and I'll send Tussie the green turtle for you. We'll meet at the sunken galleon, okay? Come on, Tante, let's get down there! I feel like a goldfish. Come on, trolleys, we got a coral reef to destroy. Let's do some damage, huh? I hope these sea creatures can smell how gorgeous I am underwater. Ooh, ooh. Boy, that smells wonderful. Hey guys, this stinks. Follow my lead. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> ah, that's more like it. Raw sewage. I think I'm gonna take a beauty bath. Yeah, right. This place is disgusting. <laughs> you can always count on tourists to make lots of mess. This is paradise. Oh, that's nice, Luke. You found some extra mm. toxic bubble bath. Mm. I wonder what's in here. Mm. Great, there's a fish I can terrorize. Bilbo, this place is beautiful. It is, but that's what brings hundreds of thousands of tourists to reefs every year. Well, you can't really blame them for wanting to see all of this, can you? If only the humans would look and not touch. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the ride, Petey. But look, their anchor has destroyed some more precious coral. They are so careless. Come with us, Dusty. The Royal Environmental Knight is here to help us. I know this sounds stupid, Bilbo, but is coral a plant or an animal? Each piece of coral is made up of millions of tiny animals called polyps, Dusty. Oh, wow. Hi, Dollface. Follow us. It's very important. And what's the white death that the king mentioned? Water temperature increases with pollution and asphyxiates the coral so it dies and leaves behind a white skeleton. According to the map, it should be around here somewhere, a whole ship full of treasure. Let's go down and get rich, Mac. Come on. Can you hear me, Mac? Sure can, loud and clear. Right, I'm ready now. I put on my Nautilus shell. I better call Tussie Turtle. I'm delighted to meet you, Tussie, and thanks for the lift. This is David, the Royal Environmental Knight, who has come here to help us. These are our new friends, Uncle David. Hello. That's Spotty, the spotted crab, and the swordfish, Fairbanks and Flynn. That's Globby, the balloonfish, Dullface, the Moorish idolfish, and Dusty, the guitarfish. This is Mork, the moray eel, and Angel, the giant manta ray. 
Thank you all for coming. Your reef is in great danger. The humans want the treasure from that sunken galleon. I'm afraid it's no good, David. They think they're safe, because they've always been protected by Sharky and all the other reef sharks. But Sharky was caught. He's doing tricks at the sea aquarium. Here come the humans! Oh! oh. There it is, Mandy. We're gonna be filthy rich. It's completely covered with coral. Dynamite will take care of it, and the golden emeralds will be all ours. Dynamite, of course. What a blast. You're so smart, Mac. Dynamite? Dynamite will destroy the fish and the coral. It takes over 20 years for coral to grow the size of a human head. Maybe we should free Sharky from the sea aquarium. We need all the help we can get. And they'll be happy to come. Sharks have lived in the ocean for over 350 million years. Right, let's go, Tussie. I'll call for reinforcements. Come on, let's go terrorize us, huh? Get your helmets and let's do it. The reef is in danger, Sharky, and everyone's counting on you to protect them. Okay, Tussie, Tina, and Tank, pull! Now I'll show you how I terrorize a big bad shark! Look what I found, Matt. There's more where that came from. We just gotta blow this reef apart and pick it up. Now I just cut it. And light it, right? Stop them for now, but the treasure hunters will just come back again, won't they? Not if they think there's nothing to come back for. A little gnome foolery. Trash for treasure. Mm -hmm. It's the dynamite! This don't look so good. We better get out of here. Not without my emeralds and my gold, we don't. This is trash, not treasure. That treasure map of yours is useless. I never want to see the ocean again. Take me home! All right, all right, put a whelk in it. No one is thinking, nobody cares. So much pollution in the world out there. I don't know how we can sleep. We're destroying what we need underneath the ocean deep. Save the dolphin Save the ocean Save marine life Will you take us to see the treasure one day, Grandpa? To meet Bilbo and Sharky? Someday, children, someday. Two peregrine falcons from Yellowstone Park arrive with terrible news. They tell us that many species of animal are beginning to act very strangely and some are becoming quite ill. Lisa, Tanti and I set out to investigate. Once again, my friends, we're gonna need your help. Help us to expose the dangers of modern farming methods because time is running out. I'm sure we can clean this mess up with your help and some powerful geezer steam. But remember, Watch out for the trolls! Take good care of the trees in the forest Take good care of the birds in the sky Take good care of the fish in the ocean For you'll never, you'll never know why Gonna need him someday. Gonna need him someday. 
It's a time for believing And for making things right So go on your way And pray every day Cause everything's gonna be alright